A liberal feminist attended a college campus refugee solidarity event to show her support for Muslim migrants However, before the gathering was even over, she had a sudden change of beliefs when she saw the surprise that was waiting for her Although many liberals are well-meaning in their intentions, their political views are based on emotional rhetoric instead of the brutal reality, especially when it comes to immigration In their unobtainable socialistic utopia, leftists believe that migrants merely want the opportunity for acceptance, success, and peace in the West Unfortunately, the facts have already violently shattered this delusion. After decades of liberal immigration policies, European pro-migrant activists have discovered that the overwhelming majority of so-called refugees are not only able-bodied Muslim men, but individuals who support Sharia law, despise Western freedoms, and disproportionately commit violent and sexual crimes. Because these same leftists are censoring the media, vulnerable citizens are left at the mercy of religious supremacists who believe that white non-believers are not only inferior, but also may be taken as sexual property, per the Kirin When a 23-year-old female student, who remains unnamed to protect her identity, and her male friend attended a pro-refugee event at the Aristotle University in Thessaloniki, Greece, in October 2016, they likely did so out of compassion for the plight of Muslim migrants However, shortly after arriving, they learned a brutal lesson which exposed the lies of their left-leaning government and media According to Greek online newspaper Typos Thess, as the event came to a close, the female student and her male friend were attacked by three Muslim migrants, who proceeded to tie up the pair before gang-raping the young woman The police arrested two Syrians and one Afghan on charges of robbery, sexual assault, and rape after the victim's male companion managed to escape and notify the authorities The migrants reportedly held broken glass bottles at the throats of the pair before tying them up in order to rob them The young man managed to flee as the migrants were focused on the young woman, who was later revealed to have been forced into performing oral sex on each of her attackers, according to Prototema The young woman was forced to relive the horrific attack in the Thessaloniki Court of Cassation, which fortunately resulted in a harsh conviction for two of the three migrants Although the 29-year-old and 22-year-old were sentenced to 29 years and 21 years in prison, the 19-year-old migrant was referred to a juvenile court, where he will be tried as a minor The judge also included an 8-year and 15-year prison sentence for the older migrants for drug trafficking, resulting in their lengthy jail time Aside from their sexual crimes, the migrants were discovered together in an apartment with a large sum of stolen goods and around $6,800 in stolen cash The migrants refused to admit guilt, arguing that the young woman consented to be orally gang-raped in front of her male companion However, the court wasn't buying their outrageous claim And, of course, the migrants could have simply claimed their religious freedom to kidnap, rob, and rape the Greek woman, as Europe often responds compassionately to Islamic culture According to the Kirin, women are not only inferior to men and, therefore, the property of their male counterparts, the unbelieving ones may be taken as sexual property for the spread of Islam In fact, 
Each time the Prophet Muhammad conquered peaceful Jewish tribes, he would take for himself the most beautiful girls as sex slaves and encourage his men to do the same, giving verses of the Quran to justify rape Europe doesn't just have a migrant issue, but also a liberal issue, in that the left defends and enables brutality in the name of cultural diversity, ignorantly believing all cultures are equal If the left is free to continue appeasing the still tiny Muslim population, eventually even they will fall victim to their own